everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about when you should start selling your artwork. I remember back to when I was really like just starting out with my art and it was my absolute dream to be able to sort of make money off it and start selling my work but I always just wondered like when do I start that process? Am I ready now or do I need to wait till I have a full like body of work and all those sorts of things so if anyone is in that situation now and you really want to make a living off your art but you're not sure if you're ready or not then this video is for you. I'd really like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video it allows me to make content for you guys so I'll talk a bit more about that later so for now let's get on to the first point. The first thing to remember is that it is a personal decision, there is no right set in stone time for you to start selling your art, it all comes down to how you personally feel and what your personal circumstances are. I thought I'd just quickly start about my journey and um, how I got to sell in my artwork. So basically in the beginning I really was interested in art and I would look at everybody's YouTube videos and look at different artists on Instagram and be like wow you know I would love to do that, how on earth do I do that? After maybe a few months of that I thought maybe I can do it so I taught myself how to oil paint watching different YouTube videos and reading books and then after I started practicing different paintings then I got to the point where I was making work that I felt passionate about and work that I wanted to make and once I got to that point where I was making unique artwork, so not following tutorials and not heavily relying on other people's inspiration but instead figuring out what I wanted to paint, that is when I started the journey of selling my artwork. I started selling on Etsy and I have actually made a, a couple of videos all about like my art story and how my journey went from like the beginning to now so I'll link those in the description box and I'll pop a link up above at the top of this video. The sayings confidence is key and fake it till you make it are well-known sayings for a reason. At the end of the day, if you don't feel confident about your art or selling artwork, then other people are like not gonna trust in you and in your process. So you're the first person that needs to put confidence in yourself and to really believe that you can do it because once you believe that you can do it, that is like a massive hurdle out the way and I know that there are a lot of artists that do struggle with maybe confidence and like worrying and that sort of thing but yeah basically if you really believe in yourself and you really think that you can do it then you've got to go for it no matter what anyone else says there will be people that um, have their reservations about it and maybe don't completely understand how it works but if you realistically think that you can do this then a hundred percent you have to go for it otherwise you'll just regret it Another really important factor of selling artwork is the time that you put into it. Selling and making a business from your art is a very time consuming thing. If you went down the route that I went down, which was selling art online, then you've got the actual painting to do, then you need to like take photographs, share it on social media, um, edit the photographs, upload all the information like on a website like Etsy or maybe you've got your own website. Then there's the accounting and the more business side of things, emails, and really this like this whole thing comes all at once. You can't pick and choose which bits you want to do because like maybe you don't want to do emails or accounting or you know those things are all necessary to creating a business out of it. So if you don't have like maybe the time to do that or you're not so sure on doing those parts of it, then you definitely need to think about that before you take the plunge into it. Another big question about selling artwork is how you want to sell it. Maybe you want to go down the online route like I did with Etsy and websites or maybe you'd like to go down the more traditional route of a gallery. Definitely both have pros and cons. Personally I felt it was better for me to do it online. It opens up to a worldwide market 
Uh, whereas if I maybe lived in the centre of London, I would think, okay, I've got a lot of galleries local to me, let's pop in and see what they think. Um, so it really depends on where you're located, your circumstances, um, do you have a good internet connection because that is a really important point if you want to sell online. It's just good to think about these different things and think about what direction you want to go in. If you do want to sell online, I have actually created a video called 5 Tips to Help Sell Artwork Online, so feel free to go check that out for some tips. I know a lot of people talk about style and having a style, and yes, I definitely think that helps when you're selling artwork because people can really identify you with that style. Um, but when you first start out, I'm not sure it's as necessary as people think because as you grow as an artist, that's when your style sort of happens very naturally. And it's hard, to, well, it's impossible really to force that style because then it won't be true to what you will actually become on your own. I think it's fine to start selling your work when, yes, you're starting down the route of knowing what you want to make, but it doesn't have to be like a fully fledged like art business before you start, if that makes sense. Definitely, if there's a subject you like or a style you like, make 20, 30 paintings. See if you can really bulk out that body of work with paintings that you feel really passionate about so rather than churning out just painting after painting um, make sure you feel passionate about what you're making because that will really shine through and if you're passionate about it then other people will be as well there are a ton of useful tools online so if you're starting out and want to sell your artwork then these are some great places to go Etsy handbook is the first one it's got some amazing tips, even if you don't actually want to sell on Etsy, it's got some fantastic tips on there for maybe how to photograph products, SEO, so make sure to go check that out if you're interested in certain topics about how to sell art. Another great place is Skillshare. I know I've spoken about them on this channel before and I feel really passionate about what they're doing. Not only is there so many different videos on like the creative side of things, like photography, and um, painting, watercolour painting, all that sort of creative stuff. They also have the other side, more of the business side, so there's a lot of like freelancing videos and how to sell online and all sorts of things that are more the business side like SEO, how to build a following on Instagram. They have an offer on at the minute where you can get two months completely free with Skillshare so I'll pop the link in the description box below, make sure you go check that out. And once again I want to thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And another great place for information is of course YouTube. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, if you enjoyed it then make sure you hit the like button, it really helps me know what you guys enjoy watching, and I'll see you in the next video, bye!